Hello, everyone. In this video, we will discuss the Host Insights feature in Cortex XDR. During this session, we will discuss how to enable Host Insights, identify data gathered by Host Insights, and discuss potential use cases for this data. To use Host Insights, you must have a Cortex XDR Pro Per Endpoint license, as well as the optional Host Insights add-on license. First, to enable Host Insights data collection, we will create a new endpoint policy by going to Endpoints, Policy Management, Profiles, clicking Add Profile, Create New. For this demonstration, we'll use Windows. Click on Agent Settings and click Next. We'll create a name. Then we'll scroll down to the XDR Pro capabilities. Enable and ensure that the enable host insights capabilities is set to default, which is enabled. Then we'll click create. Once this is assigned to a policy, agents will begin collecting host insights data. Once data collection has been enabled, initial data collection begins and can take up to six hours. After that, Cortex will check for any changes every 24 hours and upload data. Data can be viewed by going to Incident Response, Host Inventory. Here, data is broken down by configuration components such as auto runs, applications, users, and shares. Additionally, the Vulnerability Assessment page will identify CVEs related to installed software on endpoints based on the software version number. A couple of notes regarding users and groups. The users page shows only information about users whose credentials are stored on the endpoint. The users to group page shows users who belong to each group directly and does not include users who belong to a group within the main group. Domain users will be shown in the user to group mapping, but will not be shown on the users page. The data gathered by host insights can be very useful for threat hunting, specifically for the long tail analysis. Examining any configurations which are rare in the environment, for example, applications or auto runs, which are only present on a few endpoints, allows threat hunters to quickly identify areas of interest where malicious software may have established a foothold in the environment. To examine applications, we can go to the applications page and we can sort by the affected endpoints. If we reverse sort this, it will show us applications which are only installed on the lowest number of endpoints. This allows us to investigate rare instances of rare software installed in the environment. Baseline configurations may also be audited through host insights. For example, we can go to the users page and determine if any built-in administrator accounts may still be enabled on the endpoint by sorting by name, finding the administrators section, and filtering by disabled no. Here we can see there are two built-in administrator accounts still enabled on the endpoint. While investigating an alert, incident responders can also refer to this data to determine if configurations of an endpoint may allow an exploit to occur, identifying where malicious software may be installed, or determine where a malicious account has been created, just to name a few cases. For additional information, please refer to the reference links below. Thanks for watching.